Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I'm here to recap the Bears 2008 replay season. Yes, that's correct. It is over. We have played all 16 games. The Green Bay game was the last one that I televised. And if you want to go back and check that out, I will be linking to that um, as an end screen at the end of the video. But the last game of the season overall was the um, game against the Texans, which we won 34-24. And I kind of regret not um, televising that one because it was one hell of a game. We, um, at one point near the end of the first half, the Texans returned a, um, I think they returned a punt for a touchdown. And then they kicked off to us, and then we returned the kickoff for a touchdown. And then I think they got possession back in, um, in good field position because of the kickoff. And uh, with some long passes, they worked their way down and scored a touchdown themselves right before the end of the half. So, I mean, there was a lot of scoring. There was like... Three, it was something like three touchdowns or two touchdowns and a field goal or something like that in the space of literally maybe like um, a minute and a half or two minutes of game time. So, I mean, it was crazy. So it was a, it was a crazy game. And we also intercepted them twice, I think. We had two interceptions in the game. I mean, it was... I mean, that was a wild and wacky game. And you can see the final score there, 34-24. Um, let me see if I can uh, zoom in and make this uh, bigger. Let's see. We'll make it custom 130%. So let's move over to the scores. Let me move there. Let me move this over. Oh, I guess we're too far over. Maybe we're too far over. Oh, there you go. All right. So um, we. Uh, so, yeah, we beat them 34, 24. Oh, yeah. And you if you're looking at that score. Um, the score of the actual Texans game was 31-24. The Bears lost. But in our scenario, we won the game. But the score was the same, which I, I found interesting. So you can see we uh, we finished the season 11-5, which is two games better than the Bears actually did. You like that? You like that? That season. Um, and we scored 386 points and we allowed 354 points. Um, Orton finished the year, um, with 2,496 yards passing, 10 touchdowns and eight interceptions. Grossman was statistically not as good, but he had nine touchdown passes against only one interception. And he carried us through a tough time. So, uh, you know, kudos to him for that. Matt Forte carried the ball 222 times for 959 yards and 10 touchdowns. He did not play in the Texans game because I didn't feel like we really needed the Texans game to be a win. Um, and as it turns out, really, we didn't. Um, and you'll see that in a second when I get to the NFC matchups for the playoffs. But um, a lot of these guys got a lot more carries than they actually did. McKee, Garrett Wolf, um, Garrett or Kevin Jones, Adrian Peterson, they got more carries than they really got in real life. And Forte got fewer. Forte actually had over 300 carries for the season in real life, but only 222 for us because, you know, I wanted to spread the ball out, you know, the usage. And really... I mean, obviously, that's all we needed. So you got pass receiving stats here. Greg Olson, 89 receptions, 
which easily led the team. And he even sat three games and still led the team in receptions. I like going to the tight end, I found, by playing this, doing this replay. Um, Desmond Clark, the other tight end with 41 receptions. So, you know, r right there, there you go. That's over 130 receptions for the tight end position. Um, Robbie Gould was 45 of 45 on extra points, not a really a surprise because it's automatic on the card, uh, but he was 20 of 26 on field goals. Uh, Brad Maynard had a 43.28 punting average. Uh, Daniel Manning had um, 40 kickoff returns for 1,175 yards and two touchdowns, one of them, as I said, in the Texans game. Devin Hester wasn't really all that impressive as a punt returner. We allowed 300 and, or 3,427 yards passing and 1,133 yards rushing for a total of 4,560 yards. 19 interceptions, 5 fumble recoveries, and 18 sacks for the defense. Um, so here we go. Here's how the wacky season played out. We won the first game against Indianapolis, which we actually did in real life. Um, the Bears actually did beat Indianapolis. But then we lost four straight games. We lost to Carolina, we lost to Tampa Bay, we lost to the Eagles, and we lost to Dallas. And then we reeled off, I think it's like nine straight um, wins. And then we got plastered by Green Bay in Chicago, again, that game was the last one that I televised, and I will put a link to it at the end of the uh, video so that you can watch that if you want to go back and watch it and you haven't. And then we beat the Texans by 10 points. So that brings us to the NFC playoff picture, and this is what it's going to be. Um, in the first round, we will play against Arizona. And then I will also off cam, and that will be on camera. All the Bears games will be on camera. Um, and then off camera, I will play Philadelphia at Atlanta, and we will see who wins that game. In real life, Philadelphia did play Atlanta, and they beat Atlanta and advanced to the next round um, against one of either the Panthers or the Giants. I don't offhand, I don't recall because it's really irrelevant for the purposes of our replay because it's all going to be based on who actually wins these games in the replay. So like I said, real life, Philadelphia was at Atlanta and Arizona was at Minnesota, but we eliminated Minnesota in the replay because they not only um, – finished at nine and seven but nine and seven wasn't even um good enough to be um to beat our record so um that's where you are we're going to i'm going to do the arizona <clears throat> chicago game on camera and put that up on the site once it's played i'm anticipating playing it on um sunday and having it up on the site by Sunday, May 10th. So let's hope that that um, works out. Um, and then I will also, at the beginning of that game, because I will have by then played the Philadelphia Atlanta game, um, I will announce who won the Philadelphia Atlanta game and which of them will be advancing. And then we will go from there. We'll take it from there. Um, as you know, I've already uh, played the AFC field completely all the way through, and Miami had won the AFC. So we will see who gets to play Miami in the 2008 replay Super Bowl. Um, but let's hope it's the Bears, right? So um, I hope you liked that video. Um, remember to leave a like and. Uh, Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, got a lot of great content that'll be coming out. Lots of games uh, for different platforms and also talking sports. So 
If you haven't subscribed and you watch my videos from time to time, hey, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't hurt. And, um, you know, and ring the bell and uh, so that you get notifications and leave comments on the videos. I love the comments. I respond as much as I can and, uh, you know, get a little dialogue going. But for right now, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.